Right. Well, even before Oregon's short legislative session this year, the wheels were turning to make changes to Measure 110, the law that re decriminalized user amounts of hard drugs. There were bipartisan assurances that something would be done, and we're getting our first look at a compromise taking shape behind closed doors. It is our big story tonight. Well, the bill you'll want to keep an eye on is titled House Bill 4002. Within the last hour or so, the new amendments were posted on the Oregon legislative website. One amendment is 137 pages and the other is 145 pages. So we're still getting through those ourselves. But even yesterday, the, deal, uh, the details of this compromise between Democrats and Republicans started to seep out of Salem. And when it comes to recriminalizing drugs, a new class of misdemeanor would be created by this bill, striking a sort of balance between the Class C misdemeanor the Democrats originally wanted, which is punishable by up to 30 days in jail, and the harsher Class A misdemeanor that Republicans sought, which could land you behind bars for a full year. Now, this new unclassified misdemeanor would allow people to avoid a criminal record by completing drug treatment. And if convicted, they would not receive immediate jail time and instead get probation. But defendants could be jailed for up to six months for violating that probation. Well, OPB reports that even then someone could be released from jail in order to take part in drug treatment. If this bill passes, those penalties would not begin until September. Another element in the original bill was mandatory deflection programs, meaning that a police officer would have to offer someone treatment before arresting them. Law enforcement was not a fan of that prospect, and this new amended bill makes those deflection programs optional for counties, which could create a system to route people to treatment instead of an arrest. So it's clear that the baseline of these changes is still treatment. But if we use the popular carrot and stick analogy, Measure 110 took away the stick or consequences for drug possession, and this amended bill would reintroduce it. Which, as you might imagine, is not popular with everyone. Here's what the Urban League of Portland had to say late yesterday. We were in staunch opposition to any criminalization or recriminalization, I should say, uh, of folks who are suffering. Um, and, you know, from what we've heard, um, is that, you know, this new iterative uh, amendment that we are expecting um, is quite frankly worse than what was initially introduced. Well, the ACLU of Oregon also weighed in, saying these changes are regressive and harsh and that legislative leaders failed to get input from stakeholders and constituents who would be affected by this and that the new bill shows disdain for liberties, racial justice and, quote, sound science public policy making. The executive director of the ACLU of Oregon, Sandy Chung, wrote, quote, real solutions to drug addiction are more treatment, housing, prevention, education, non-police mobile crisis teams, and community revitalization efforts. Criminalization is not a real solution. It is a false promise that will inevitably result in more overdose deaths in the Oregon communities that most desperately need access to care. Oregon's legislative leadership is digging a deep, unconscionable and costly trench of human suffering by recriminalizing Oregonians experiencing drug addiction. Well, the amendment is expected is the expected solution for lawmakers to get this bill through the legislature with bipartisan support. But the big question would be whether or not Governor Kotek would actually sign it if it arrived on her desk. Here's what she told our Laurel Porter well before these amendments were being shaped. The filter I'm bringing to it is, will this make it better? Will it make it better for the people who need the services? Will our communities be safer? If they can pass that filter, then I can sign the bill. All right, well, that was Governor Kotek, obvi Kotek obviously, and you heard what she had to say about it. Uh, we're getting back to the right spot for our story here. Now, the bill, uh, today, a high pro, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is my error. I hit the button and got us too far along in our script here, so I'll get us back where we need to be. Okay, so let's give you an idea of the timeline for this amended House Bill 4002, so you know what to expect. Within the last hour, we learned that a public hearing is scheduled for Monday evening at 5 p.m., and from there, we expect it to move like any other bill would. The committee would hold a work session on Tuesday or Wednesday, and if approved by the committee, it would head to the full House. They would discuss it over the course of two days before taking a vote, meaning the new bill could advance out of the House and head to the Senate as early as the end of next week. 
So what's going through your mind on these changes to Measure 110? We're expecting to speak with lawmakers Monday to get a better idea of all the expected changes, but these are the big ones. Do you think they'll make a difference? Well, you can email the story at KGW.com or call and leave a voicemail message at 503-226-5090.